Have you ever spent two hours plus trying to create the perfect Instagram post, manually filling brand template to template using Canva, but only to realize after that you still need to download them and upload them manually to your Instagram? Today I'll show you how I was able to save all my afternoons and automate the workflow that generates posts like this. Beautiful, where you will have the product name, the image and the price all auto-filled using Canva API. And whether you are in any sort of business or you have any kind of brand template, you can automate this posting and save also your afternoons. Hello, my name is Elvito if you are new here and I help business automate their tasks using AI and automation. And today I'm very happy to bring you this game changing workflow that will help you maintain your presence on Instagram. We all know that Instagram is, if not the best, one of the best social media platform out there. And maintaining the presence is very difficult. And this workflow is basically good for business. If you are in business, like my use case that I use, if you are in education, if you are in storytelling, posting carousels like this could boost your growth on Instagram. And also maintaining consistency on Instagram is very difficult. That's why I created this workflow so that one day if you wake up feeling lazy and not uh, wanting to go through designing through Canva, downloading them, posting them, you can use this workflow and with just few clicks, your post will be available to your users. Now, without further ado, let me first make a short overview of the whole workflow. The workflow is composed of three main parts. There is the trigger part where we'll have the form where we'll submit our images and information that we need, like product name and product price. We'll have the Canva API. We'll use Autofill API to create our design. Basically take all the information we got from the form and use them inside uh, our brand templates. And the third part will be the Instagram carousel posts part. Now, before we start going through each node step by step, we need to get our NetN set up. There are two ways. For me, I'm using local hosted NetN using Docker. I have a step by step in my community on how to do it. Basically, you need to download Docker. If you are using Mac, you should download Obstack as it's better. And we need to pull the NetN image and we need to create directory and add this file and copy this code. And basically the trick here is to change the webhook URL. As we saw in my previous tutorial, the Canva API do not accept uh, local host. That's why we need to run it on a local IP address. And we need to spin up using Docker Compose up. And whenever we finish, we use Docker Compose down. Now, if you want to use cloud hosted NetN, it's very easy. You need to go to NetN.io, sign up if you don't have an account and use it. And for its use case, you'll have to uh, to pay monthly uh, subscription. I guess it's twenty dollars now. I don't know. And yeah. Now going through our workflow, the first part, as I told you, is the trigger part. We'll have a form that we need to submit. Basically, the form you can give it any information that you want uh, to be filled in your brand template. For me, I have the product name, I have the price, and I have the photos where I accept multiple files. And uh, basically that's it. And the second part is to arrange all photos. Uh, there is one issue with NetN. I don't know if you guys faced it. Whenever I use this form trigger, if I use uh, the photos, if I set them to be multiple files, the binary combination of them, I don't know the way they encode them, but it's not the best. That's why uh, we use this uh, code tool in order to uh, arrange all the photos in an array so that we can have an array that we can pass into our next node. And of course the uh, next part is to split out all the images, the photos data, so that we have, uh, we could deal with each image, uh, independently. Now, the second part, as I told you, is to use Canva API and autofill all our information, uh, through our brand template and to do so. Uh, so that we can have each image designed independently. 
we need to loop through all our images, convert them to file, and then we first of all have to post all the images because uh, the Canva Autofill API, when you want to autofill an image, you basically need to first uh, post it to the Canva uh, Canvas database. So to, to do so, we need to use a post asset uh, route. We'll basically create a uh, HTTP request, make a post request on assets upload. We'll use a, the generic credential OAuth2 and the Canva. If you did not watch my previous uh, tutorial, uh, for this tutorial, I have all the steps in my school community on how to set it up. Basically, it's to set up the developer's account through Canvas and connect it with your NetN. All the steps are there. I'm not going to go through it in this video. We need to send the, the headers, the content type, as application octet stream and this asset upload metadata is something i found which is uh, a little bit strange basically it's the name of the file you want to give it and i close the one in the documentation and it should be encoded in base64 and for the body you're going to choose the nn binary file and choose the data that came from the previous node which was uh, to convert the base64 to a file. So we'll have to wait for some few seconds so that the job uh, status changes to done. Then we will get the assets ID after those 10 seconds and use it in our autofill API. Now, after getting our photos ready and posted in Canvas database, now we need to start using autofill API. We will make a post request on API Canva.com REST V1 autofills. We will use the same uh, credentials that we created in this step. And for the headers, we will use the content type, which is application JSON. And for the body, we will send in, uh, first of all, the brand template ID, which you can get by navigating to your brand. And basically, this is the ID. And for the data, we will fill in all our data that we need to fill in. And basically to, to get the data sets, we need to go to Canva API, documentation. We go through brand templates and we need to get the brand template data set. We need to first to generate the token. Hello. And we paste in, oh, sorry the brand template ID and we submit. And after submitting, you can see that we need the name, which will be of type text, the image, which will be type of image and the price, which will be type of text. And that's what we are doing here. We are sending in the name type text and we immediately specify the text, which will come from our first node, which is of form submission one. We will need the image, which will come where we'll set the asset ID as the previous asset ID, which is this one. And we'll also set the price, which also will come from the first node, which is our uh, field of price that we entered. And after that, uh, we, we will wait for some few seconds, 10 seconds, in order to get our job completed. Then we will get it. As it's an image, it will be fast. Even five seconds, I think it can work. And now we have our uh, design ID that we can use. We'll then use the design ID that we got from the previous node into our export job. We need to export uh, the image that's uh, been designed. And for it, we will do a post request on canva.com rest v1 exports. We will use the same authentication. And then for the, we'll send in the body where we'll send the design ID as the previous uh, ID we were talking about. And we will also send in the format object where we'll have the type of image that we want to receive, which is for my case is PNG and the export quality, which will be pro. And we need to wait for a few seconds, 10 seconds, and we'll need to get the export URL. And the export URL has an expiry time, 
and that's why we need to save it to uh, a cloud public URL. And that's why we'll wait for a few seconds, 10 seconds, and we'll post it on image URL, image UR, sorry. This is one of the free uh, online image sharing platform and hosting service I found. Basically on a free tier, you can get up to 50 uploads per hour. And that's 1200 uploads per day. If you want to scale up, you can go ahead and use Amazon S3. And in my school community, I can help you to set it up if you want to post more than 50 uploads per hour. And to set it up, it's very straightforward. You need to sign up uh, for a free account and register for application and connect it to NHN. You'll find all of these in my uh, school community. And after posting it, there is one link that we will get, which uh, as you can see, it has an extension of .png and that is what we will use in posting our images to Instagram. Yeah, and that's it with the Canva design part. And basically this loop, that's what it does. It goes through all the images and apply the design and immediately create the public uh, image URL that we can access publicly. And if you watch my previous video, you saw that we were saving our images locally. It's also possible, but the problem is that uh, to post on Instagram, it's not possible to post images directly from your local computer. You have to first post them on a public uh, accessible URL and then be able to post them. And after that loop is done, we will start another loop to add all the medias to the Facebook server. And for that, we'll need a Facebook graph uh, node. We will then choose the host URL to be default, HTTP request to be post, the version will choose this. And for the node, this will be the ID of your Instagram. And to get it, you need to go to uh, Graph API Explorer tool and search slash me slash accounts fields you choose instagram business account and basically you will copy this and paste it in here and another thing that i forgot is the credentials to connect with the credentials you need to go through all the steps that i created i created an easy step by step in my school community basically first of all you need an instagram account which is a professional business account you need to connect it with your facebook page and after connecting with your facebook page you create a developer account after developing do your after creating your developer account, you need to connect it with your Instagram uh, to give it access on Instagram. And basically uh, the following step is to get the user token, which you will get from the uh, graph API Explorer that we just saw this access token. And after that, we need to extend its life using uh, the Facebook uh, debug tool and after that, uh, that's all about the credentials. We need to send the, the query param, the image URL will be the previous, uh, the image URL from image UR where we hosted our image. And we will wait for some few seconds, 10 seconds. We loop through all of the images. And after them, we need to aggregate all of them. And after aggregating all of them, we'll have all their IDs. And basically the following step is to create a carousel maker. It's also from Facebook graph uh, tool. And basically you will fill in to hear all the uh, things that we filled in the previous note, except that for edge, we will need to media type to be carousel. And we will pass all the children. We need to map all of them and give it children as uh, all the all of these IDs. And after making the carousel, we need to publish uh, it. Basically is to take the previous ID and pass it in here. And for it, we will access the edge, which is media publish. So I think that's the last step. After this step, your images, carousel image well designed will be already posted on your Instagram. Now that was too much. I hope this uh, workflow will help you to save your time uh, designing your templates and also uh, posting through Instagram. 
in my school community I have a step by step from where to start and uh, to the final step which is the workflow and you can join it it's five dollars per month and uh, we have a growing community right now we have eight members still few and uh, I'm waiting for you guys to join me there if you have any question feel free to comment down below and don't forget to like subscribe and share to other people who you think they might uh, need this to save the afternoons. See you in the next one.